There was excitement that day. In Worms, that day, I mean. Well, I don't mean now, not now. What's happened since then? There's no excitement like that anymore. Not unless murder's your idea of excitement. I tell you, you can't have ever known the kind of thrill that monk set off amongst that collection of all kinds of men gathered together there. It was a few years ago. We all felt it, every one of us, just without any exception. You couldn't help it, even if you didn't want to. And believe me, most of those people didn't want to. His scalp looked blotchy and itchy. And you felt sure just looking at him, his body must be permanently sour and white all over. Even whiter than his face and like a millstone to touch. Sweated so much by the time he'd finished, I could smell every inch of him. Even from where I was, he fizzed like a hot spark, a trail of gunpowder going off in us. That daddy monk. He went off in us, and nothing could stop it. It blew up, and there was nothing we could do, any of us. That was it. Just I felt quite sure, quite certain in my own mind. Nothing could ever be the same again, just simply that. Something had taken place. Something had changed and become something else. An event had occurred in the flesh, in the flesh and breath, like... Even like when the weight of that body slumped on its wooden crotch piece and the earth grew dark. The kind of thing I mean what happened. And this also happened in very likely the same manner to all those of us who stood there, friends and enemies alike. I don't think. I don't think even if I can speak and write like him, I could begin to give you an idea of what we thought what some of us thought, what we might come to. Obviously, we couldn't have all felt quite the same way. But I wanted to burst my ears with shouting and draw my sword. No, not draw it, I wanted to pluck it. As if it were a flower in my blood. And plunge it into whatever he would have told me to. I could only Understand him. It baffles me. I just can't make him out. Anyway, it never worked out for us, did it, my friend? Not the way we expected, anyway. Certainly not the way you expected. But who'd have ever thought we might end up on different sides? Him on one and us on the other? That when the war came between you and them, he'd be there beating the drum for them outside the slaughterhouse. And beating it louder and better than anyone. Hollering for your blood. Cutting you up in your thousands and hanging you up to drip away into the fire for good. Well, I suppose all those various groups were up for their different things. The same thing, really. All out for what we could get. More than any of us had the right to expect. They were all the same. All those big princes and archbishops, cut-rate nobility, rich layabouts, honorable, this and that's, scrabbling like boars around a swivel bucket for every penny those poor peasants never had. All those great abbots, the dewlaps, dropped and hanging on their necks like goose's eggs. Then those leftover knights like me, for instance. I suppose leftover men. Impoverished. Had seen better days. Were scared. And they'd stick at nothing to try and make sure they couldn't get any worse. Yes. Not one of them could read the words way out when it was written up for them. Locked out clearly and unmistakably in the pain of too many men. 
affairs. They say, you know, that the profit motive, and I'm sure you know all about that one, they say that the profit motive was born with the invention of double entry bookkeeping in the monasteries, bookkeeping in the monasteries, and ages before any of us had ever gotten around to burning them down. Because you know, for men with such a motive, there really is only one entry. Profit is theirs, the loss is someone else's. And usually they don't even bother to write it up. Well, it was your old loss, wasn't it? Dead loss, in fact, my friend. You could say his life was more or less a write-off right from the day he was born, wasn't it? Hmm? And all the others like him. Everywhere. Now and after him. Another of yours? Do you think it'll sell as well as the others? I dare say it will. Someone's always going to listen to you, no? Pardon me. Just a minute. better. You're all ready now. You even look like a butcher. <laughs>